I'm one of the engineers at Portable Solar where we make EMP hardened solar generators. Today, we're going to be showing you some of the EMP testing that we do here. In this particular video, we test a few different inverters, we actually test some solar panels, and we also test some household electronic devices. We are trying to simulate how real EMP affects these devices. So we do that in two different kinds of EMP testing. We do radiated, which is an EMP traveling through the air, and then also we test the conducted, which is tr the EMP traveling through the wires. So for our first round of testing, we'll be using this EMP test chamber and also an RF generator that allows us to generate over 50 kilovolts per meter while keeping it inside this, this uh, chamber. Stick around for the end when we EMP an iPhone. We'll also EMP a computer and bust some popular myths. So many people incorrectly think solar panels die in an EMP, but unprotected panels do survive so long as they aren't wired up. That's because when an EMP hits, the connected wires act like antennas that amplify the pulse and damage the panel. For our second round of testing, we will be using our pulse generator. It applies over 100,000 volts to the device being tested in a manner of nanoseconds. As you can probably tell, the part of the EMP that comes to the wires is much more powerful than what travels through the air. The solar panel wires and wires in your home amplify the EMP energy. Our generator creates a similar amount of energy. 
But before we bust some myths, let's mention lightning arresters. An EMP is so much faster than a lightning bolt that arresters can't block all EMP energy. Smaller electronics are less affected by an EMP because the wires inside them are short and don't collect enough energy to cause damage. While your phone and computer survive, the AC charger will not. Most appliances and power supplies plugged in the grid will not likely survive an EMP without massive nanosecond level protection. For more information, visit our website at portablesolarllc.com.